Welcome, beloveds. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life, the first day of the best of your life. Welcome to the frequency of ascension. It's time to remember who and what you really are. I am Astarius Miraculi, and I am here to share with you my Rhythm of Libra today, which is another selection from my book, Feast of the Zodiac, Rhythm of Astrology excuse me, Feast of the Zodiac, Wisdom of Astrology, and what I'll be sharing with you is the Rhythm of Libra, the Libra Wisdom. Wind who expands the spirit fire, glowing will of love's desire, harmony and justice that makes us free, is Libra's role to claim and be beauty, balance, charm, and grace like a symphony in the air, Love pervading every place, thus itself with all to share. But I don't like adversity, sometimes unpleasant things I flee. Yet once again I will grow up, drink sweetness from the bitter cup. The harmony in adversity is that which I was born to free. The righteous judgment of the soul, God reality will unfold, adaptable, tactful. Intuitive reasoning, socializing, synthesizing, cultural seasoning to life filled with people I am prone, must overcome fear of being alone, vain, aloof, envious rivals, cease to sway in vacillation, need to be needed for my heart's survival, swindled by infatuation. Born out of my miscreation, blessed be the peacemaker who thus outwits the undertaker that divides to conquer with deceit. This enemy I will now defeat. The dark side of my soul bids me assume a dead one's role of playing the odds against the middle, but don't engage this deadly riddle. Seek the unity of all through multiscopic observation, the straddling urge to take a fall. Come universal adoration. Unity is a UNI tie. Oneness now, not by and by. Venus star in the heavenly skies ascend to earth. Ascend the earth to realms on high. Loving, laughing, creating, loving, touching, tenderly, gentle and kind my will to be. The wedding garment thus to weave in arms of love to be received. I do take thee, mine own above, the light of love, our hearts to shed, spirit of the most high love with my soul. I, the, wed, I am, Libra. And so we learn about this great frequency of love through Libra, who rules the seventh house of the zodiac, which is the house of marriage and the house of love, and also carrying the frequency of balance. You know, there is a wisdom within the Libra frequency that opens to include all. And we look at the word balance, which is the key word for Libra. And when we take that word and we transform the syllables into words themselves and the letters, we get B-A-L-A-N-C-E, be all and C, be all and C. When we are including everything, then we're able to have the true clarity of sight and understanding as to how things are connected. So Libra is a frequency that opens to the all-inclusiveness, like a symphony in the air, love pervading every place, thus itself with all to share. 
Now, one of the, the things that is important for the Libra in energy is to learn when and how to face the adversities of life because there's a tendency to sometimes flee from that. Libra learns how to face the adversities of life by drawing in on the opposite sign, which is Aries, the sacred warrior. You know, a Libra does not own, understand or own the totality of selfhood until there is the ownership of the opposite sign because the opposite side of the Libra nature is reflected within Aries. And Aries and Libra and Libra and Aries come together to reveal one another to each other. So... If you are Libra, definitely meditate on the frequency of Aries in order to find the true place of balance. The Libra is known for adaptability, known for being tact, uh, tactful. Also, there's a strong intuitive reasoning, uh, a great tendency towards socialization. You know, we learn the lessons of how to socialize through Libra. We learn the lessons of how to harmonize because Libra is looking for all of the ways in which there is a commonality and the ways in which there is common ground as opposed to all of the ways in which there are differences. And certainly there is the capacity to be the peacemaker, you know, with the sign of Libra. Libra rules the will of God, it also rules the will of others. So one of the shadow pieces for the Libran energy is being overly influenced by other people or allowing the will of others to be uh, a force that takes too much control in the Libra's life. Uh, but when we look at the highest resonance of what Libra represents, it represents the will of God because that is the life force that exists within all beings. You see, and so all of the relationships, all of the beloveds in the whole of existence is symbolized through the Libra energy and the will of God is meant to prevail through all of that. And so Libra rules the will of God and therefore the intention of Libra is not to be subject unto the will of others in negative and submissive ways, but rather to allow the will of God to operate through the Libra through in, in service to others. You know, this is the significant thing and certainly we are grateful to Libra for learning the lessons about relationship and learning the lessons about love because you know it is through relationship that we learn about who we are we come together to reveal one another to each other and we see a mirrored reflection of so many facets of our own self through the beloved that then gives us a deeper understanding of who we are and we wouldn't be able to access that depth of understanding without the aid of relationship and so we certainly thank uh, Libra for helping to teach us you know this lesson of love and this lessons of opening to relationship and this lesson of being willing to flow in the ways of harmony so that's my download on Libra and um, you can get more of that insight you know through uh, the book uh, which is Feast of the Zodiac Wisdom of Astrology I am Astarius Miraculi. My website is astarius.com, A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S.com. I have some amazing treasures there for you, a number of CDs, a couple of books, and also I have a free download, a gift that uh, I have for you over there on my healing music page. You can go over there and claim that, and also hear some of my wonderful sound clips while you're there. So the site is astarius.com, A-S-T-A-R-I-U-S.com. I'm also available for psychic astrology readings and practicing and teaching Reiki as well as conducting Reiki trainings. You can find insight on all of that as well as a direct number to reach me if you're interested in a session, which I do in person, by phone, by Skype. I'm located in the Los Angeles, California Area. Thank you so much for holding sacred space with me. Aho, Ashe, Amen, Namaste, Hotep, In Lakesh, Alak, In Shalom, Satnam, Hariom.